what's up you guys i woke up to my twitter buzzing so apparently putin done attacked ukraine he didn't sent his troops in okay so it says russian for hold on who is this is this cnn cnn don't have a little the little talking thing the little let's see what they talking about here i bet you it's gonna be a commercial first they always want to give us commercials for stuff. There we go. I don't we even can help you design the perfect patio. But with anyway, Putin did it. He attacked the people. He went in there and they're saying that they aerated just their military bases, not like any popular places that civilians would be. Hold on, here we go. Live stream video, Don. As you can see, several tanks and armored vehicles cross the border. Um, uh, really, uh, uh, through a, a large amount of time for at least a, a minute or a minute and a half for all those vehicles going across the border. And then we have that information that that is that very border crossing um, between Ukraine and Belarus and that these troops are now coming in from Belarus. And it really is remarkable because I was actually with those very troops uh, just last week when they were conducting large-scale exercises together with Russian forces inside Belarus. And the possibility of an invasion from Belarus was always something that the U.S. had warned about. And I asked that very question, Don, to the Belarusian strongman, Alexander Lukashenko, just to give you an idea of some of the lies and the misinformation that have been spread ahead of this. And he laughed at me. He said, look, do you really believe that we are going to invade Ukraine? And obviously now, uh, only about a week, uh, a little more later, we're seeing that that apparently is exactly what's going on. It's still unclear at this point in time whether these are Russian and Belarusian forces. It could very well be the case because these two militaries work very closely with one another. And they've been practicing with one another for uh, for a large amount of time and just to give you an idea don about the possible size of the force that we're talking about there were about 30,000 just russian troops inside belarus allegedly for those drills and then of course you also have the entire belarusian army as well so certainly this is an extremely dangerous development uh, that we're looking at and, and wait a minute y'all wait a minute because i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i've been looking at I've been looking at at the, the 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 tanks going and I promise you it looks like it's on a loop. It looked like it's on a loop to make it seem like um there are more tanks than it really is. That just could be me and my conspiracy theory mind. But that's honestly what it looked like to me. What happened? Scale exercise. Oh. Together with Russian forces really? inside oh, Belarus. And the like possibility of an invasion from Belarus was always why something. Why did it stop like that? Why did, why did it stop like that? As you can see, several tanks and armored vehicles crawl. Oh, really? Well, it looked like, I'm I'm, I'm be honest with you, it looked like it was on a loop to make it look like it was more tanks than it was but you as you can hear um it says uh the first blasts were heard around 5 a.m thursday prompting immediate um combination from the u.s what do you mean immediate condemnation from the u.s what were we supposed to Joe Button always in the middle of stuff. See, Joe, if you had left stuff alone from the United States and his allies, which have threatened to enact full scale sanctions in response. Hold on. Full scale sanctions. 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 Okay. As air raid sirens rang across. Is it Kyiv? Kyiv. Kai early Thursday. Ukrainian president moved to enact martial law and government ministers account, uh, accused Moscow of launching a full-scale invasion as dawn broke. The red dawn, y'all. All right, you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. And yeah, I'll keep y'all updated with this as well. All right.